Welcome back to a view to a grill. I'm Johnny. Today we're making these fantastic elote hot dogs and we're going to do it all on the Weber kettle. We're going to start by setting up our Weber kettle. Every once in a while I'll get a comment like this. If your grill's that clean you ain't really grilling. This one's for you Corey. Having this nasty stuff sticking to your food does not make your food taste better. I'm going to use Citra Safe. I'll just spray it on, let it sit for a minute, scrub it off using the scrub brush, and then wiping all that mess off the grill to have these beautiful clean grill grates. Now here's something different. My slow and sear is actually empty today. And when I set the slow and sear inside my Weber kettle, I like to set it just right inside of these two grill grate tabs. I just do that because I feel like I can use the entire slow and sear without having to worry about my protein touching the sides of the grill. To ensure maximum airflow, we're going to want to make sure that any ash on the bottom of the kettle has been swept away. Once we've done that, we can get our grill grates back in and then open the door so that it can receive our lit charcoal. Now that we have our Weber kettle set up, it's time to prepare our hot dogs. Today, I'll be using the slot dog. We'll just press down on the hot dog and then turn it over and press down on the other side as well. And when you're done, your new hot dog will look like this. I'll just place these hot dogs into the refrigerator. Now that our hot dogs are done, we can prepare our elote sauce. I'll just be using some cacique crema mexicana, some Hellman's mayonnaise, a teaspoon of paprika and cumin, and then the star of this seasoning is going to be our chili joe from Crave Spices. I like to do a one-to-one -one ratio of Hellman's to Mexican crema. Next, get your spices in, and then I'll tap in about a teaspoon of Crave's Chili Joe. Now we can get everything stirred up, and when I was done, I had a sauce that looked like this. Today I'll be using the Golden's Cast Iron Lump Charcoal, and since I didn't have a full slow and sear, I'll be using a full Weber brand chimney starter. To get the fire started, I'll be using the Superior brand of fire starter. We'll just get that lit and set our full chimney starter right on top. Once I see some of the coals ashing over on the top, I can then get that into my slow and sear. We'll spread the lit charcoal around for even heat distribution. Close the grate, close the lid, and make sure that our top vent is open and our bottom vent is open as well. While the Weber kettle is preheating, it's a good time to prepare our topping. I'll start off by chopping some fresh cilantro. Now when you're roasting your corn, you can roast it as dark as you want. Here's where I stop roasting my corn. For me, this is the perfect color. Now I'll go ahead and slice all the kernels off the cob. And then I'll get those into a bowl and set aside. And then now that our toppings are prepared, we can get our hot dogs on. I'm going to start our hot dogs off on the indirect side of the grill and I'll also put on a little bit of butter to melt. And then another two or three minutes we'll open the lid and start grilling our hot dogs. Today I'll be using the Lamson set of tongs to manage our hot dogs. If you would like a set of these for yourselves I have a link and discount code in the description. This is going to go really fast. I only had these hot dogs grilling for 30 seconds and then I started to remove them. This is what the slot dog does for you. Look at all of these little crispy bits that it created with that diamond pattern. Our butter has melted enough so we'll go ahead and get that off also. I'm using a brioche hot dog bun and I'll just toast the bottom of the bun. Now all of our components are ready. We can go ahead and shut down the Weber kettle by closing the top vent and the bottom vent. Now let's assemble and check out the results. For a little bit of extra flavor, I'll cut up a lime and you can squeeze that on your elote hot dog if you want. So we're going to start off by just putting in a couple of tablespoons of that elote sauce that we made. Next we'll get one of our slot dog hot dogs and put that right in. Now we can add as much corn as we want. Get a little bit of that melted butter and then just brush the top of the bun. Next we're going to get some of the Crave's Chili Joe and then we'll just use that and sprinkle the entire top of the Elote Dog. Now we can sprinkle some of that chopped cilantro on and then squeeze a little bit of lime juice right on top. And the last thing I'm going to put on is some of this 
queso fresco. I'll just crumble it up and put it right on top. And then take a look at this elote dog. Everything about it just screams deliciousness. This is the part, the best part. Let's take a bite. And if you want to know how this dog tastes, well, it tastes just like this. And it tastes just like that all the way to the last bite. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to View to a Grill, why not? You should do it right now. Thank you for watching the View to a Grill. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.